from Dr. Phil kicking him off his show, disturbing the public with his pranks, and making an OnlyFans, to now hosting the most drama-filled content on Kick with the internet's most controversial figures and even kissing the island boys. It is no surprise that Jack Doherty has been slapped and attacked multiple times over the years. However, how did he even get himself into this situation? And why has this innocent, bottle-flipping kid turned into one of the most hated streamers on the internet? Well, it's time to find out. Jack Doherty uploaded his first ever YouTube video on the 29th of September in 2016. And while he was only a mere child back then, it did already show off his passion for content creation, as his first few videos surprisingly included some very interesting ideas. Normally, kids from his age would upload the most random garbage on their YouTube channels, because that's what kids do. They want to follow their imagination and have fun with friends. But Jack was no ordinary kid. He had the heart of a content creator, as he watched YouTube daily, learned quickly and took inspiration from content that did incredibly well back then, implementing trending topics in his own videos like prank calls and musically react videos. In fact, Jack even understood the concept of follow-up videos already, making another marker flip video that got over 1.9 million views right after his first video started seeing signs of success. The quality of these videos wasn't the best, but this young YouTube prodigy understood the algorithm like no other, and effectively used clickbait titles and thumbnails with iconic red arrows, circles, and intriguing text. And to get big, all you really need is a clickbait thumbnail and just some subscribers and the results followed not long after, as he gained 1,000, 5,000, 10,000 and eventually 100,000 subscribers in less than 6 months. And whenever there was a new trend, Jack was right on it, as he successfully used fidget spinners, the floor is lava, 3am challenges, guesser rage and went out of his way to show up to both houses of YouTube's most popular groups at the time, Cloud Gang and Team 10. It slowly became more and more apparent that there were no boundaries for Jack and his content, but when he started started doing pranks that often disrupted the public and got the cops and security involved, it was absolutely clear. Jack Doherty was no longer an innocent kid trying to get some views on his YouTube channel. He joined the dark side of YouTube content creation, where any attention would be good attention. In fact, he had a target on his list that would almost guarantee more views. A streamer that dominated the world of content creation during Fortnite's golden era. And while this man wasn't easy to reach out to, it didn't mean that Jack would give up that easy as he eventually found a way to profit off his success. It's so annoying, man. He's just sorry, he's donating a lot of money. He's, just, uh, he's asking me to have, like, react and call me his daddy and shit for like a YouTube video. And now he's asking to play. He's like, oh, here's another hundred. We better play. Blocked his email and now I'm refunding him because he's annoying. Yep. Yep. That was my goal, just to annoy him. The genuine excitement in knowing that he baited one of the biggest content creators at the time into an irritated reaction was far from subtle. But what he didn't know was that it would land him in his first ever controversy. After uploading Trolling Ninja on Twitch $1,000 donation, Tyler demanded that Jack would take the video down, saying that he refunded all of his donations and that the video was literally fake, ultimately blocking him. Jack claimed that Ninja didn't refund all of his money and said simply concluded it with this. Is there anything I can do to keep it? Because I just really wanted to keep the video up, but like he was just like, no, 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 I'm Tyler Blevins, I do this and that and that and that. I mean, it's cool that he gets to play games for a living, but like, oh my gosh, be thankful I make that much money. Try not to take 14 year olds money. Like I'm 14 years old, like back off, buddy. Which obviously wasn't appreciated by the majority of the community. And it resulted in a flood of hate in his comments, meaning that he had to heavily restrict them. Yet, this didn't have an effect on Jack's popularity at all. No, in fact, he continued racking in tens of millions of views over the years with pranks and clickbait content, and it seemed like nothing could stop Jack from his ultimate goal, views and money. However, along the way, he began taking things way too far, as he even started messing with his family for the sake of good content. The people that were there for him from the beginning, and it ultimately resulted in his brother deciding to call for professional help. Now during the year, Jack became more and more of a public nuisance, intentionally provoking neighbors and calling them Karens for it, getting involved with the police, and terrorizing Walmarts. And while his family usually condoned all of this for the sake of his financial success, his brother eventually had enough. This is because Jack stole his brother's car back in November in 2019 for a prank, driving in it without a license and risking a hefty repair bill if he crashed it, and his brother completely flipped out because of it. I'm gonna Michael, Michael, don't touch Michael, my camera. Stop. Michael, stop! 
Stop! Film right now. Stop! As a result, Jack got an invite to come on Dr. Phil's show on the 17th of December in 2020, where his brother confronted him about taking the pranks way too far. And while Dr. Phil tried to give him advice, Jack kept interrupting him, and his dad had a hard time keeping him in line. At least, that is what it seemed like. Because Jack was happy to get his reputation destroyed on live TV, as it was his plan all along to get even more recognition. And his family was in on it. I, I just told my dad to, I was like, defend me, but like, don't act like you're too on my side because like, then it'll just seem like fake. Due to this episode, even old people started recognizing Jack on the street now. And while it definitely caused him to gain more attention, it didn't impact the views on his YouTube channel too much. As a matter of fact, his growth even slowed down throughout the entirety of 2021, with him failing to get over 3 million views per month most of the time, and his YouTube channel even getting hacked in May. The reason I didn't upload this video earlier is because the hacker got a strike on my YouTube channel. I'll show you right now. Channel violations, active community guidelines, Strike. So, was this the moment where Jack would finally see his momentum come to an end? No, of course not. Because the kid was a genius when it came to following trends. And he completely switched his content strategy in March of 2022 by going all in on short form content. Everyone's watching short form content, so why not just make the best short form content and I just like learn how to get really viral videos and that's how I'm able to also like, you know, help my friends blow up. The result, an increase of 10 million views in a month. And this snowballed into a record month of 300 million views and 2 million new subscribers in December. All while getting millions of followers and views on TikTok as well. Yet, this wasn't even the smartest part of his new plan. No, because Jack turned 18 that year. And only three months after his birthday, he opened an OnlyFans account for himself and also started managing girls on the platform. He would make short form content content with various girls that he supervised either through his own OnlyFans or paid promotions, and then shouted out her page in the pinned comments of his short form videos. But what's different about this is when you check the pinned comment of this YouTube short, which is her at is Grace X Rain and Spicy Page is Grace Rain. Which would make Jack and the girls he collaborated with a ton of money, allowing him to buy a $250,000 watch and $15,000 bracelets from this money like it's nothing. The once bottle flipping kid from Long Island now made millions of dollars every year from OnlyFans, got a minimum baseline of 100 million views per month on YouTube with a combination of short form and long form content, and basically made himself financially free for the rest of his life. What else could he possibly want? Well, more money and attention. That is all that Jack lived for, and he was damn good at getting it. The year 2023 would be no different, as he made OnlyFans content with his brother, kissed the island boys, and became the host of various kick streams in his house. You see, the rise of kick streams and the drama-induced viral short-form content that came from it became wildly popular, and all Jack had to do was put two and two together. He already excelled at making viral shorts and vlogs, so why not add live streaming to the list as well? Well, Jack started out by inviting these kick streamers over, as he knew it would provide him incredible content. With the likes of mentally unstable Fusi Tube attacking and spitting on him. Like everyone thinks it's fake, but it's like he's literally in a mental hospital right now and it's been <laughs> yeah, over a month, yeah. so it's like <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, real. Like real. it's not like we, we can't stage that, but the island boys turning against him, and his house basically becoming a cesspool of controversial streamers, OnlyFans models, and tons of security guards. No joke, every streamer that comes to his house has their own team of security security guards, and they all get told what to allow for views and what not, resulting in Jack getting slapped so frequently without any consequences. But he eventually announced that he would also stream on the platform himself, and is now looking for a kick deal to rack in even more money. He was incredibly smart by positioning himself right in the middle of this new trend again, getting into the spotlight almost weekly for getting punched, swatted, having controversies happen in a stream between other kick streamers, featuring countless of OnlyFans models fighting people, or his security guard even knocking a friend of Corinna Kopf out cold. And while all of these antics can be deemed as extremely immoral, I think it mostly comes down to the saying, don't hate a player.
player hate the game. We're living in a world right now where kids and teenagers need cheap dopamine fed to them 24 7. And when you're able to watch streams all day where you can follow live drama, interesting plots, attractive women and funny no filter personalities causing extreme havoc, it's no surprise that Jack is seeing so much success. He's an expert in converting this type of audience into revenue. And when you combine this with his talent for marketing, it's completely unstoppable. For example, he does not only manage OnlyFans girls to get his revenue up, but also released his own Make Money Online course. And in this, he implemented a strategy where he hands out money to members. For every clip about him that gets a million views, he pays them $100. And this does not only provide his members views, ad revenue and of course the affiliate reward, but also indirectly shows them that the course works. All while Jack gets more recognition through those clips. It's similar to the 50-50 affiliate share that Andrew Tate implemented for his Hustlers University. And it's a genius way of growing your business. Thanks to all of this, he now owns 21 houses in cash, a $30,000 per month mansion, an $800,000 collection of supercars and a crazy watch collection. But has no plans to stop anytime soon. Don't really have much to worry about. I kind of set myself up in the best way possible, but still, I don't think that's even enough right now. I still want to keep going because, you know, obviously the more money you make, the more your lifestyle costs and the more you want and you, know, you just always want more. And it begs the question, what on earth must Dr. Phil think of him right now? Well, funnily enough, his production is no different than that of Jack, since they recently uploaded old clips to profit from his new success. Funny how the world works, eh? I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. It's much appreciated.